It's a 42-yard attempt here for Verity. John Young holding. And Verity's kick is blocked. That's a good stand for Temple here on special teams yet again. An area that Rod carried his group, wanted to see improve. They're getting it under their head coach. If you remember, they're 0 for 2 kicking with Verity getting one blocked, and he missed the last one. Ehlers, third and seven, plenty of time. Here comes Archibong. He has to get rid of it. He cannot. Archibong with the takedown and the sack, and that's the 12th sack this year for Jeff Knoll's defense. Mitchell's in the backfield yet again. Ehlers is going to throw far side of the field. Catch is made. C.J. Johnson is first and stays in bounds. Johnson is gone as he beats Elijah Clark for a touchdown. There is a flag on the play, though. There is no foul for offensive pass interference. Touchdown, ECU. We were told he ran the second team reps coming into this game. Barbona, the fake of the jet sweep. It's great. A throw again. Looking for Martin Robinson across midfield. Pass or so. And a big game to the tight end for Temple. And pass protection here on second and ten. Read option again. Ehlers keeps it. Looking for Paul. It's kept and intercepted by Temple's McGee. McGee has blockers in front across midfield. Ehlers trying to catch him. He won't. And it's McGee who has the pick for the outs. So here's Bell, who's 4-4 four four on field goals. Going to try to remain perfect, and he will here at home as Temple gets on the board at 11:36. You see, we'll get the football up by four in our second stanza. That Sneed has it at the five-yard line, across the 30 with a lot of pace for Sneed. Good block in front for Tyler Sneed yet again. Mobley can't catch him across midfield to Sneed. There's a flag on the play. Sneed has one man to beat, and Sneed's in for the return. It's 95 yards on the return, but we'll have to see about the flag. Here's the call by Hank Johns. Offside. Kicking team, number 88. The touchdown will Penalty stand. Wow. Result of the play is a touchdown. A 95-yard return by Tyler Sneed. Would rather not give East Carolina time to score if they're able to get in the end zone. Bray's going to throw on the fade, looking for Mack, and is the pass intercepted by Dorso? It is. What a play by Sean Dorso. His second interception of the season with 104. Good blocking by Fernando Fry. They're centering company. Ehlers. Play action. Going to throw. Has a wide open Steed right down the gun. Odom trying to catch him. He won't. Touchdown, ECU, and Tyler Sneed has his second touchdown of the game. That's good for 46 yards. As to why Ehlers is not running the ball as much as he did in the last two years where he ha he's had six rushing touchdowns in each of those two seasons. He's going to run here, though, across the 30, and here's Ehlers with the speed. He has daylight between the hashes for Ehlers, still on his feet across the 20-yard line. Can Ehlers get there? And he's just shy. It's a shame for the kid, but Ehlers, the junior, will have it. It will try to get on the QB keeper for his first rushing touchdown. And officially, let's wait for the signal. And there it is. A touchdown for ECU. Ehlers has the rushing touchdown. That's the 13th rushing TD in his career. And added points for ECU. Such a luxury to have a quarterback that size. It's Bivens along with Smith to his left that makes the checks defensively. Third and five, great a throw. Has time, lofts it downfield, and the pass is intercepted. ECU's going to get it on the pick again. And it's taken away by Bivens. Ken, your guy that you're focusing on with the interception for the senior. Well, he can play the run and he can cover too, right? And that will do it officially. So Rod Carey, a long walk to the Mike Houston sideline and ECU. Wins it by 25 over Temple, 28-3.